that absurd oh, couple yeah. pretend do their stupid, weird, pretend royal tour of, of that African country, of that African country, of that African country, of that African country. <laughs> So recently, Meghan and Prince Ari visited Nigeria and the British media has been restless. In fact, it's like they have been forced to go on a suicide mission. Well, aside Meghan being mixed, the major problem to the British subjects is this. Those that we worshipped those that we see as our god a woman married into this royal family are not even our own prince ari should represent with certain people and who are those people the third world country melanated people we should be higher than them we should not be seen as equals megan has allowed herself to be seen with these people. And in case you don't know, the British royal family is just for one thing, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Now, let me break it down. It is all about white supremacy. Even though there is nothing white about them, I've never seen any skin white. Let us say pale skin. So it's all about upholding white supremacy. And... Whenever you think about the kings and the queens, you think about these people. So now, when the people of the world saw, I mean the right-thinking people saw Meghan and Ari as an asset, they saw them as a threat. Because the people Meghan surrounded herself with are meant to be ruled and not represented. Let us watch this video and we will talk more. That absurd oh, couple yeah. pretend do their stupid, weird, pretend royal tour of, of that African country, of that African country, of that African country. Of that African country. Nigeria is, you know, poverty stricken. Yes. And a country where most people earn one pound fifty a day. I mean, Nigeria is a country that has a lot of problems, mm. and I'm not sure many can be solved on the polo field. Well, it's interesting. I mean, Nigeria is listed around sort of the ninth most dangerous country in the world suggested that his family wouldn't be safe in Britain. Nigeria is a much more lawless country. Now, he's gone to that country there where it's an extremely dangerous place. I mean, everybody knows. Princess. Yeah, well, oh, God. God. I mean, a warrior princess. <laughs> They've gone to the right place if they want to expand their cohort of fake royals because Nigeria is flush with people who claim to be members of the royal family. What is the basketball court going to do, Mike? What is the basketball court going to do? Well, I mean, I guess they're going to say, well, it's going to help people use athletics to reach out from poverty and make themselves into superstars in the NBA. It really keeps them in touch with the people when they're watching Nigerian polo too, right? <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was such a thing. <laughs> Visits are very carefully chosen. And I'll tell you this, you all know this, Michael, you've been on enough royal tours. There's no way our royal family would set foot in Nigeria. Well, I think Nigeria is known to be to be uh, one of the most lawless countries in the world. And it's... Problems. Dangerous no, countries. Poverty. Lawless. Least safe. It's poverty. Poverty. A African country. No, problems. Dangerous. No, poverty. Lawless. Least safe. It's poverty. Poverty. A African country. No, problems. Dangerous. No, poverty. Lawless. Least safe. It's poverty. Poverty. A African country. These people are racist. That man that made... That journalist that made that... Christopher. The, Christopher, whatever he is, is the height of racism. Was, He's just was, so jealous because Harry and Meghan came to Nigeria and they got relevance and it's in your face it's going to hurt you to the very end i hope that this racism eats your bile up and it continues to eat you up
Yeah. Yeah. What do you think's going on? Well, I felt completely different, actually. I mean, after all the trashing of Harry, and there always is this week about, you know, trying to sort of blame him. This Actually, when I saw him and Meghan in Nigeria, I had a, I had a nostalgia. I felt this is what it could be. These two who are enormously appealing to the public and who are very good at it. We're out there in Nigeria sort of looking really attractive and being, you know, appealing people. And what a pity it is they've gone. There is a kind of Harry-shaped hole in the monarchy at this time when they're in such sort of beleaguered circumstances. It seems these clowns have been given one job and the job is to pull Megan down. Hmm. Now, the only crime is this, that Megan is mixed. Now, Nigeria, 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 Nigeria. Nigeria stops being uh, less safe. In fact, Nigeria becomes less hostile when you go to some of these countries to seek for asylum. All of a sudden, they want to deport you back to Nigeria. I think those that uh, are seeking for asylum should take note of all of this. Nigeria is this, Nigeria is that. And present this during your asylum or refugee or whatever claim. Just present it. They said, and I'm talking about the they, the respected media houses in these uh, countries, let your asylum presentation be centered on nigeria is this nigeria is that you know they said nigeria is not safe nigeria is not safe and if you go there seeking for asylum telling them nigeria is not safe they'll tell you no nigeria is safe go back there but all of a sudden megan and husband prince husband in nigeria all of a sudden it is not safe it is not safe so sad so sad it shows the Racism shows the mediocrity. It shows the emptiness. The emptiness. If Megan was one of theirs, I mean, completely their skin tone, British, even if she's American, they still will have something to say. Oh, she's too... She's that. She's too much of a woman of herself. She might control well-cultured prince and all of that. Well, more reserved prints and all of that trash. As if this so-called reality or this UK or whatever it is, this Western countries, as if they are free of crime. They are not free of crime. In fact, majority of these countries, if not all of them, built their country on the back of others. In fact, let us even not color it up. They built it on wickedness. They stole they kidnapped. They robbed. There's something they didn't do. They took people's life. That's how they built these countries. Built it on the backs of other people. Not because those people were willing to. They did terrible things to these people. And now they want to color words. Look at all the rants and talks and they are vultures. These are vultures. These are vultures. But unfortunately... Um, there is no dead or unalive, um, whatever it is, remnant of whatever that they can feed upon. So they are showing that anger, screaming, shouting, oh, Megan, oh, the wannabe royals and this and that. The guy simply, you know, let out that that he had inside of him for a long time. He knows that the so-called royalty that... I don't know what they did to their stupid, uh, you know, those that still want these AK practices. Because if you are normal, I mean, at this time, if, if your senses are working, you realize that this reality thing is useless. Some group of people calling themselves elite, expecting you to take care of their needs. For what? And you sit down there, probably many of them are the same anyway, Mm, they are the same. So, the UK, or let's say the United Kingdom, because it's no longer united, built that so-called kingdom or that country 
harvesting the organs of other races, of other human beings, harvested their organs, took advantage of them, ripped them off, did terrible things, stole from them to build. And as a criminal, thief, murderer, with all of this, you now think that you can appear as saints and present yourself as such. Like, no, we are this, we are that. No, um, they want to be. Like, the guy really, I mean, is cleansed, delivered from the demons. He ran away from that so-called royalty, royal, ro royals of blood. He ran away. He knows what he did to his mother. He knows how wicked. You cannot know the so-called royal family than Ari himself. He knows. He knows how wicked they are. He knows the evil. You don't know. He knows them. And he got the opportunity to get out. He got the opportunity to remove himself from the wickedness of the wicked. He removed himself. Got himself out of it. What do you think prompted him? You think it is Megan that prompted him or confused him, convinced him? No. This guy wanted out already. He, 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 I, I don't think he has gotten over the demise of his mom and how the so-called royal wickedness dealt with his mother. Did terrible things. He knows the secrets of the so-called. It's not, it's not even a secret anymore. It's just that some gullible people, foolish people, wicked people like the... Maybe they're under a spell or something. Embracing this foolishness. Not telling themselves the truth. They feel comfortable when it is not, when it is others. Oh, those people can be ripped. Those people can be murdered. Those people can be stolen from. Those people, but not. That's what it is. So Megan had visited Nigeria with the husband and connected and well-received, celebrated, embraced. In fact, they enjoyed. And what this rubbish... Uh, media in the UK what they could do as stupid as they are is to come out if you look at the their their posture look at their mannerism look at their ultra if, if you listen to their utterances and all of that you you realize how empty they are there is like struggling to pull down someone that has been placed in fact someone swimming in grace not with grace swimming in it not with grace, swimming in grace, not with grace, in grace, overflowing with grace, doing it effortlessly. They said, oh, they said they do not want to be on the media. They said they do not want to be on, in bad media, useless media, wicked media, media that has no other job than to hunt them. Why? Because of the truth. That's what they said. But they want good spotlight. They want positive spotlight. Not the wickedness of the wicked spotlight. That's the difference. I don't know what you guys think of this. Drop your comments. See you guys in the next update.